Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain correlation versus causation. Um, so with correlation, we're saying that two things are related, two variables are related. They follow a similar pattern or they might follow an opposite pattern, but in some way they're following a pattern that shows that they're connected. But we can't say if one causes the other. It's possible that one causes the other, but until we can demonstrate causation uh, statistically with good research, we would say that they're correlated because we can't necessarily say which one causes the other, if at all. Uh, so for example, ice cream sales and attendance at public pools both peak during July every year. I made that up completely. I have no idea if that's true, but I just made that up for an example. So ice cream and going to the public pool are both happening more in July. Well, chances are they're not actually, one isn't causing the other. So there's a relationship, they're correlated because they follow a similar pattern, but eating more ice cream doesn't make you go to the pool and going to the pool doesn't make you eat more ice cream. It's more likely that it's just hot weather. And so both of those things are happening at the same time. So both might be caused by a third factor, which would be that it's summer. Um, so another example is that there is a higher incidence of diabetes mellitus in overweight and obese individuals. So that those two are clearly correlated. So body fat, um, having increased BMI um, is definitely correlated with increased risk or incidence of diabetes mellitus. Now, the causation, which one causes the other, if at all, is up for debate. So they're certainly correlated, but not everyone agrees on whether it's being overweight that causes diabetes mellitus, or if diabetes mellitus causes the person to be overweight, or if there could be a third mediating factor that maybe causes both. Um, so that's an example where we need to be careful not to jump to assume that there's causation like being overweight causing diabetes mellitus. That might be true, but there is a lot of debate that is not agreed upon. So, so far we could say that they're correlated. And so we want to watch our weight because maybe that could be the causative factor, but maybe it goes the other direction too. Um, whereas causation, we're saying that one thing causes the other. There's a clear statistical relationship where we can demonstrate that one thing leads to the other and not vice versa. Uh, so, for example, when the weather is hot and sunny, more people get sunburns. There's a direct causative effect there where when it's hot and sunny out, more people will get sunburns because they are being exposed to more sun. Um, so we know that that's a causative effect. Uh, it doesn't go the other way around. You don't get a sunburn and that causes it to be hot and sunny out. And it's unlikely that there's a third variable that's causing both the hot, sunny weather and the sunburn. It is clearly the sun causing the sunburn. Um, so we can only declare there to be a causative relationship or for there to be causation uh, when there is no doubt that one variable causes the other, or at least that we've got enough statistical proof to demonstrate that relationship. Anything shy of that, and we would call it correlation. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.